everyone has flaws about themselves that they're gonna that they're gonna like harp on you know I mean I was taller than everybody I thought I was the most awkward gangly looking person in the universe I wanted curly hair for a long time so I'm talking about like my hips and my butt longer hair lose weight why can't I be short and cute I thought my head was too big I wish I had abs but I'd like to be taller and it's the question about what is body image and how are we supposed to look like All my life, I have struggled with body image. Weight has always been an issue ever since I was little. You know, when you're little, it's really cute and you're cute and chubby. But then as you get older, it starts to become a bigger problem. And I know that my struggle has really affected my you know, perception of myself, my confidence everything. I think body image is a really big concern of many college students, you know, especially today. Um, for me personally, I'm always thinking about it. So I went around and interviewed a few of my friends, some of my close friends, harassed them a little bit to hear their thoughts about body image and if they have any insecurities, how they overcome that and be more comfortable with the person that they are. I try not to think about body image. I'd say, because it's obviously a very important part of our lives because the way that you look, everyone sees you, so everyone's going to judge you on the way that you look, and I, I judge people on the way that they look too, even if I don't mean to. And it's something that I didn't realize for a really long time, like you talk about it a lot, you talk about it since you're like in seventh grade, and you talk about it, and then when you get up and like to this stage we talk about the male gaze, and we talk about, you know, seeing yourself through men the male eyes. Well, I kind of hate it at some points just because I feel like culturally we're kind of instilled to have this idea of, of the perfect body image. And it's not, I mean, for some people it just isn't attainable. And others it's just to attain it would be unhealthy. How do people think about their bodies differently? And then you come across different things where you're like, you're comparing your own body image. Like, okay. I'm taller than most people here, I'm okay, a bit thicker, I'm a bit curvier than most people here. Body image, I guess, I think it is basically progression of a person, the way they think in their environment and how it comes to being. I think it's less beauty and like what we deem as attractiveness almost. I think a lot of it is characterized by like what we think like the opposite sex or whatever is going to be attracted to so like I think as girls we often have these concepts of like like when we think of beauty we think of it in terms of okay what are what are the boys going to find attractive I think I've realized that I'm a product of it as well are there pop stars that feel like you know they're attractive and but they're like raised to a level and then girls see it think that that's what they're supposed to look like this is so cliche. I feel like a lot of us model ourselves after like celebrities, like what celebrities look like. Because they always are looking gorgeous because they have like makeup artists to do their makeup and like stylists to dress them. And then guys see it and they're like, that's what girls should look like, you know, if they're special or something. I think that's half the fun, is that there's all these different types. It would be boring if there was like actually a perfect one. I know my body type is somewhere, I call it the J-Lo meets the Beyonce kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not defined by my body and I don't define myself by my body. I truly believe that like, no matter how a person looks, they can be gorgeous if, they, uh, if they're a beautiful person on the inside. If someone is going to judge me based solely off of how I look, it would. Do I really, really want to get to know slash care about what they think? Definitely used to think I was like super gangly, super awkward, super nerdy looking. I decided though that I was going to be, if I was going to be tall, I was going to be like a giraffe because they are strong and they are elegant even though they're kind of still awkward. So I'm harnessing the awkwardness to like be something cooler. I think a celebration of bodies that are not stereotypically beautiful, St celebration of bodies that are not tall and thin and with gorgeous faces and perfect complexions and airbrushed obviously like you have you have to people have to realize that that's not real that's not always how it is and 
if a body isn't like that, it's still a body to be celebrated. I have to learn how to love my body the way it was made, and there's a reason why it was made a certain way. I'll do the best that I can to form where it's also it's healthy for me, mentally, physically, psychologically, and spiritually. So I think a lot of my like personal change in style and personal change in like my, how I view myself has come from kind of accepting those qualities that maybe I used to not think were perfect and just loving them and embracing them and being like, yeah, I'm quirky and I'm going to be quirky. <laughs>